learn how we can create simple animation using Visual Basic 6. First of all, create the simple new project. Resizing our form. First of all, I will like to demonstrate what we are going to do. We are going to simply making an animation that we can increase or decrease its speed. This is the animation that is developed in the Visual Basic 6. We can increase or decrease its speed. Basically, animations are the moving objects or sprites that moves rapidly. To demonstrate such like a movie, we are drawing here image 1, setting its stretch property true. We are taking a timer control here, whose interval we may set as 100 or 200 or etc. We are getting two buttons whose caption is increase speed and the second button may call we are going to resize these buttons as the same size uh, ok now this button can say that decrease speed ok what we will have to do I have already designed some sprites for this piece of demonstration that I have to view. This is an IAM folder where I have designed five pieces of sprites that I have to circulate using the timer control. Okay, let's go to the code again. Here we have an image box. We only have to do that, we have to write the code. For this image box on the form load we are going to load the first sprite in this image box image one dot picture is equal to load this is the built-in method load picture from where I say that this resides in a backslash a nine folder backslash one dot jpg okay i have to remember this we are not going to solve this project at this time i have to remember this path carefully this is an i'm okay let's try to load this is successfully load in the image box but this is loading only one image we are want to repeat this task using the timer control to load next image each and every time we are just saying that uh, we have to maintain a counter variable name c we can say that c counter c and t etc c and t as integer or we can say as c and t equal to one in timer control each and every time we want to c and t is equal to c and t plus one c and t will be increased by one if c and t is greater than five because we have only five sprites we can increase this uh, sprite uh, count to increase the efficiency and proficiency of the animation then c and t is equal to one if it tends to the five then it will go to the one again and if what we will have to do we will have to again copy this code and load image but we have to some perform some dynamics here we use this as dynamic we have c and t here we are not going to save this code this is the reminder loading image dynamically here first of all timer will click one will be loaded two will be loaded three will be loaded and when it tends to the five again one will be loaded it to the image box here we will have to concatenate this setting using the ampersand using the ampersand okay so let's uh, try to demonstrate this oh this is working very very effectively and now we are going to write code behind these buttons we are going to increase speed uh, we are saying if timer one dot interval if timer one dot interval is greater than 10 then timer one dot 
interval is equal to timer 1 dot interval minus 10 why we are going to minus value from the interval for the increasing why we are not doing here plus for the increasing because if we tends over interval to the minus minimum of the second then the speed automatically will increase okay in the same way we have to do the code for the decreasing speed for the decreasing purpose we have to increase our interval okay this is the rightly done the complete code we are going to increase the speed oh we can see here this speed is increased or we can decrease the speed oh. <coughs> wonderful we are clearly seeing that this speed is decreasing gradually by clicking the button we can increase the speed in the same order increase or decrease this is a simple simple demonstration how we can animate different kind of objects proficient or images in the visual basic we can extend this in future or later project we will demonstrate it in new style or new features in our later projects thank you